Hi there, I want to teach you today how to take your business, your teaching, your meetings online. I recognize that we are in a season right now where this is pivotal and I'm getting lots of um, emails and communication from people asking how do we keep things up and running. I've got lots of musician friends that have lost all their work and all their gigs and lots of churches kind of scrambling to find out how they can keep communication running. I know a lot of you have already set up your online church systems but if you're looking for ways to continue teaching, uh, continue having your meetings in a way that is not going to slow things down. I want to share with you four tools that you can use that you can set up immediately that will help you with all those things. If you are a teacher today and you're not sure how to keep teaching, so you might be teaching in a school or you may be teaching, uh, you might have your own music school, for example, or your own training center. How do you get everything online simply and easily. I wanna show you how to do that today. So if you don't know me, I'm Roma Waterman. I am a creative, I am a musician. I have an online training school I started five years ago called Heart Song Creative Academy, where we have thousands of students coming online and learning. And this is why I know this stuff. It's changed my life and I believe it'll change yours too. So let's get started. The four tools that I use. Okay, the first app, well, the first program that I use is something called Zoom. It's an amazing conferencing app. If you are looking to have meetings with your team, if you're looking to have meetings with students, lessons, Zoom is fantastic. It's where you can see everybody all at once. You can hear them. All they need is their computer and you can also um, record it if you need to. And there's also a chat box where people can chat as they're talking. So if you are in serious lockdown and there's no way that you can meet in person, Zoom is fantastic for continuing meetings. I'm going to show you a little video from their website so that you can see what it looks like. Zoom has revolutionized the way teams communicate. Whether you're connecting multiple conference rooms or meeting with attendees from their desktop or mobile devices, coming together face to face is as simple as a single touch. With the highest video and audio quality, bringing your team together on Zoom feels just like you're all in the same room. It's easy for everyone to join on video, which builds trust and engagement, making your team and their meetings more productive. Feature rich and simple to use, the Zoom mobile and desktop apps bring the whole experience together with built-in cross-platform group chat. Transform your communications experience with Zoom. So you can see it's absolutely fantastic. I use this on almost a daily basis. I think it's uh, it's around 15 or 16 US dollars a month and I use it for so many things. So we often connect with our students using Zoom and then we record it and we put it up into our learning platform so that they can watch the replay if they can't make the actual live. So Zoom is the first app that I recommend. The next one that I would suggest is um, a management, it's a learning, platform where you can actually load up pre-recorded training and have it available for students. It's fabulous. It's what I use. There's lots of platforms out there that you can use. If you've been a uni student before, you may have used Moodle. I love Thinkific because it is aesthetically, it looks beautiful, but it's also really easy to use. So let me show you my site. I like it because I don't have to know about any tech. I can just set it up. So I set this up completely myself. It's uh, it, So it doesn't even look like Thinkific is what I'm trying to say. You can have your own domain name up the top if you want to. And then I have all my courses in here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like so that you can see. So that's like the, the card for the course card for the courses. And there's a whole bunch on there. But if I click into one of them, you'll just see what it looks like here. If I go to resume course, and this is what it would look like for your students. You'll see on the left hand side, I have different modules. And then I actually you can use different types, different formats of lectures. So a majority of the lectures are videos, which you can see here, but you can also load up things like PDFs, MP3s, simply just notes. So if I was going to go in and just change one, I'll show you. I'm going to actually go into the back end of my site so that you can see how easy it is to load things up. So I'm going to go manage learning content. 
All right, we'll go to a course here. So I'm going to go to that course that we were just at, writing, writing a book, how to write a book. And I'm going to show you here. So you'll see here, it's as simple as me going add a lesson or add a chapter. So if I wanted to add a lesson, you'll see here on the left, it'll say, well, what kind of lesson do you want to have? Now there's automated quizzes, which is fabulous for testing people's learning and you don't have to manually do that. So you just set it up once and then um, people can do the quizzes and the results just come back to you. You can look at them. You can do multimedia, you can do audio. Uh, it can be downloadable for the students. You could do a PowerPoint presentation and exam exam, a video, uh, or simply just text. It's really easy to set up and load up. Um, it's if you're not if you're just overwhelmed by how much tech you have to learn, Thinkific is a fabulous platform for setting up pre-recorded material using, you may even put your Zoom calls up there. It could be as simple as that. So that's the second um a second application that I would suggest. So we started with Zoom, then you've got Thinkific. The other program that I would suggest is what I'm actually using right now to teach you. It's a program called ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is fantastic. If it's it's exactly what the the title is. It's showing the flow of your screen. So if you are doing any type of training where you need to show people what's happening on your screen, maybe you're a graphic designer or maybe you're teaching, say, music production of some kind, you, you need to show people how to do something on your screen. What I'm doing right now, I'm actually using ScreenFlow. So it's an app that you can download if, for Mac and there's other programs. I think there's uh, TallyStream might be the one for PC but you simply download it and then you use it to record your screen. Now you can record different aspects. You can record yourself like what I'm doing now, or I can remove that. You'll see me just remove it off the screen right now. So you can see what that looks like. There's three elements that it's recording at the same time, your screen, your video, and also the audio, my voice. Now you can choose at any time to only have one of those things if you want. So for example, people that are using a PowerPoint presentation, if you just want to use your PowerPoint presentation and you don't want anyone to see your face, you can do that. I'll show you right now. So I'm just loading up Keynote right now, which is what I'm using, or you may want to use a PowerPoint presentation. I press play, get rid of my face, and here is my PowerPoint presentation. And I can go through that and record it and ScreenFlow will do that for me. And then once that's done, I export it and I can load it up into whatever platform I need. It could be Thinkific, it could be another training platform, it could be to YouTube, it could be to Google Drive or Dropbox, uh, or you could simply, if it's not too big, just email it via email. It's probably gonna be too big for that. But ScreenFlow is absolutely brilliant. The other great thing about ScreenFlow is you can edit and um, you can do make lots of changes, add things in after you've recorded. So I highly recommend ScreenFlow. All right, my fourth suggestion for you is really simple. It's just Facebook groups. Simply use a Facebook group to get your message ac across. And also in particular in this season, what's really important is keeping communication happening. And so um, here's an example. I'm going to show you one way you can use a Facebook group and then also a bit more of a, a tech, high tech way that you can use Facebook to keep communication open amongst your teams. There's lots of other apps that you can use if it's just, if it's, you know, just keeping your teams um, communicating like Slack, which you probably know about all of those ones if you're running a business already. But these are just some simple things that I'll use. So um, here's a private Facebook group that we set up for a five-day training that we did on writing your own book. You'll see here, I've got just simply a video of me. Now, I the cool thing about this is We've just got that up every day. You'll see that there's comments down here. So people were asking questions as we were doing the training and then I answered it. And then what you can do at the end, keep this in mind for another time, you can actually download that Facebook Live. So I've done that as a Facebook Live. You can don't download that to your computer and then you could add them into your course or your platform, whatever you're using um, for people that couldn't make the lives. It's absolutely brilliant. It's fantastic. So, all right. Now, if you want to be a bit more tech with your Facebook groups, there's actually a, a website called StreamYard. StreamYard is fantastic. It just makes your lives look really professional and you can also record them. Um, it's an app that you can use that uh, will also send 
uh, your wherever, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing live, it'll just send it to whatever social media platforms you want to have it in. And then you can also design it so it looks really pretty. You can see that there. And you can add other people onto your Facebook Live. So if you're doing an interview of some sort, or if a student wants to come on and ask a question, you can add them. It's absolutely brilliant. Again, it's not expensive to you. So StreamYard is another option for you. Now, we have talked about the four apps I use, Zoom, Thinkific, ScreenFlow, Facebook Groups. What equipment do you need to make all that happen? Really simple. Obviously, the first thing is you need a computer. You're going to need one, and I'm pretty sure most of you will have one. Now, for many years, I just simply used a laptop. So if you've only got a laptop, it's totally fine to use it. But because I do so much online training now, I've got a dedicated computer for teaching. So I'm here right now using my computer. And you can use the internal uh, the internal microphone and the internal camera on your computer. But if you really want high quality, I suggest using an external camera like Logitech, which is what I'm using right now. It's just USB connected. You buy it plug it straight into your computer and most likely your computer will recognize it and it will work straight away. I'm going to actually add a link to a PDF of all these, um, all the, the things that I use so that you don't have to go searching, but I recommend the Logitech camera. It's absolutely fantastic. And then you'll want to use a good microphone if you're going to do a lot of training. So the microphone that I'm using for my computer right now is called the Blue Ice Mic. It looks like this here. You'll see this picture. It's fantastic. Again, it just simply plugs in via USB and it works straight away and you get really good audio. Now, if you're not using a computer to film whatever you're doing, um, I suggest this fantastic uh, lapel mic if you're using your smartphone. Now, why would anyone ever use their smartphone to film? Let me tell you a secret. This is all I have ever used to record my courses if I'm not using a computer because the quality is exceptional. So this is an 8S. I'm about to upgrade to 11, which is even better. There's actually a setting in your phone that you can change to film at 4K, which is what most professional cameras film at. So you can get really good quality filming directly using your phone. You do not need to spend a lot of money to make this happen. But if you are going to use your phone, you can't use that blue ice mic with your phone. You will need to get a lapel mic and I highly recommend this one. This is the best one to use and as you can see, it's not too expensive. So you need your computer, you need a good camera and you need a mic. And then what else? Well, here's some that, that that's as simple as that. If you need good lighting, so if you, I'll tell you right now, if lighting lighting can be a real issue for people when you're teaching online. So there's a couple of really quick things that I would recommend. One is place yourself in front of a window. That's all I've got right now. I'm just using window light right now. So don't place the the light behind you. So don't sit in front of a window, have the window in front of you so there's light on you, but you also can use a ring light. You'll see some of the ring lights here. Um, this is an example of the one that I would often use. In fact, if I can get my video, I'm not sure if you'll see this, but this is the ring light that I normally use. You'll see some of my other filming equipment behind you. I'm not sure if you can see that, but if you can't, I'm going to put a link in. But that light is pretty much all I use and the camera just sits in the middle and I can film away and it's not very expensive to use. There's uh, other lights that you can use. You can simply use uh, mobile ring lights. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can have a quick click have a quick look uh where is it it looks like where are you um there you go see this one here this is a it's called a selfie ring light you can actually just put them 
over your phone and I've used that lots of times when I'm on location as well so again you don't actually if it's urgent and you need to get training happening straight away you actually don't need this stuff but I'm just thinking ahead for all of you that are needing to continue to do this if we have to do that long term now aside from that kind of equipment there's some other things that you can use that will really help you with um, presentation what we just used before so we talked about using um, keynote <coughs> excuse me keynote's fantastic you'll see it here if i um it's basically if you don't have a mac it's like powerpoint presentation it's where you can develop all your presentations i'm not going to go into that too much because you will probably know how to use that so you can use keynote and again you can use um you can use ScreenFlow to record your powerpoint presentation if you are going to do it prior to you know if you're not rec if you're not teaching live and then you've also got some other other things you can use I highly recommend if you're going to do some really nice presentations if you need to do some nice presentations or have any information in PDF canva.com is absolutely fantastic it's free to use you can use a free version this is me inside my um, account here so let's say I I mean you can see here I have just created bucket loads of graphic stuff and um, these are my designs all here so it's really easy to use so for example if I wanted to create a presentation I can go in here or if it's just simply just using graphics or you want to do a PDF handout you can use this so let's say I go mm, I like this I'm going to use this presentation uh, a template and then I can just type here everything that I need so if I do um, as you can see it's Ascend Academy if I want to do that oh I like that name that's a good name <laughs> um, stuff like that and you can see this one's actually got motion in it but um, some of them don't and then when you're simply done click on this little button up the top you can download it and then this is you can download it in different formats that you can see here and the cool thing is you can add it to your training site if you need to or you can just simply email it to students if you need to canvas fantastic now if you want to add some more things to your designs another recommendation is a royalty free website called pixabay where you can get royalty free images to use for or anything there's lots of these coming up here at the moment but like if I wanted to type in say business meeting um, here like that let's have a look lots of pictures come up and then it's really simple you'll see that I used this in my PowerPoint presentation I got it from here so Canva is absolutely fantastic in um, having really nice presentations ready for your students so let me just unpack all of that again really quickly and I hope that this has helped you zoom is the first app that I use thinkific for loading up all your um, training screen flow to record your screen and to record your presentations facebook groups you can use Streamyard as well to sort of up the ante on your facebook and then the equipment is a computer you may or may not need an external mic your phone to film if you're not using your computer and then the apps that i suggest are keynote and canva if you've got any questions just don't forget to um, contact me any way you can on social media or at the end of this post i'll help you as much as i can uh, let's let's use this to increase our capacity and i'm just praying god's peace and um, harmony over your family and whatever nation you're watching from hope that helped